So when I first had my spiritual awakening, after 30 years or so of being an atheist and being really confident in science and atheism, I read Conversations with God and it really started to change my ideas about how things worked and what was possible and what God meant. And during that time period, I wanted to get hold of a lot of different, you know, spiritual texts that could explain things. But I believe that texts that speak in a general sense about what's going on and what is have their limitations. So this idea that I've been playing around with in recent months, maybe the last year, is the idea that what we can do and maybe more and more people will head in this direction now we have access to so much information through the internet and so forth all the information is there but our situations are all very different from each other what we come into this world with in terms of our own personal karma what early childhood and later childhood and early adult and all that all the experiences that we have are very different too so I believe that by becoming an expert on ourselves by really understanding ourselves and not relying so much upon general teachings to help us understand ourselves. When I was studying counseling psychology, I, I thought it was interesting that there were just so many different psychological theories of personality that were very, very different in their focus. And I think they're all great and useful in different parts, but you can draw upon one of them or some of them or change your focus based on where you're at but not look to any one psychological perspective or any one uh, spiritual or religious perspective to be the source of your self-understanding. There are so many complexities in the process of living and becoming yourself. So if you can really understand specifically what your stuff is about, what have been your challenges, what are the traumas that linger, what's the unfinished business you have with family or friends or lovers or past lovers, what is the stuff that you have to develop uh, greater awareness about in your life? And not giving that power to anyone else, because nobody else can access a millionth of what you have access to. You're with your feelings all the time. You're with your thoughts all the time. You're the expert. Don't give your power away to someone else. Become an expert on yourself by paying attention, looking over your life, looking over your lessons, and continuing to see life as an ongoing process of self-education, self-awareness, and self-development.